Good evening. Good evening, guys. Good evening, Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Well, this is the last class that we have for this course. So we are going to have our last topic, but also we are going to have like the final process that we need to follow in order to um, complete all the processes that we have to, okay? Now let's see. What do we have for today's class? Well, this is the main goal that we have to achieve during this class, in which it says that you will be able to, to fill up a form in pairs by developing a mini role plays in pairs. Okay, in mini role plays in pairs by using some time clauses correctly. And we're going to start because uh, since um, this is the last day, I would like you to think a little bit about this. This is a quote. The capacity to learn is a gift. The ability to learn is a skill. The willingness to learn is a choice. What do you think? about this. 
about the three different mm -hmm. like stages. Yes. This black hole is like two. Excuse me, Berta. I think that you have some troubles with your audio. Okay. Hello. Hello. Now better. Okay. Yeah, yeah. better. Aha, guys, what do we think? I think, I think that, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Jennifer first and then Berta, okay? Okay, I think that is very important because in this time is very um, easy and the try to learn English because we have access and this course um the um, the farm um online this is a uh lo voy a decir en español es una herramienta que creo que nos ayuda a todos pues porque somos personas que trabajamos pero estamos en la disposición de seguir aprendiendo o recordando algunos de nosotros algunos temas porque sabemos que es indispensable aprender inglés, porque prácticamente la modernización, el nuevo mundo, la globalización nos lleva a... Um, entonces creo que estar a la vanguardia como profesionales, independientemente del área donde cada uno labore, sabemos que en algún punto de nuestra vida laboral nos topamos con que es necesario saber, aunque sea lo básico de inglés, para poder desempeñarnos. Entonces ese es mi, mi aporte. Okay, thank you very much, Jennifer. Berta. Okay, este para mí es 100% real, pero es una oportunidad que no todos tomamos porque hay mucha gente que se acomoda y no le gusta leer ni esforzarse siquiera un poquito por aprender algo nuevo o nos quedamos con yo ya sé. Okay. Y con el tiempo se nos van olvidando las cosas. That's true. That's true. Thank you, Berta. Anybody else? <laughs> Jennifer, open the door. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, teacher. That's just because it is the last class. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think that we have la capacidad de aprender la habilidad se le da con I think that we have problems with your audio. Se oye cortado y lejos. I don't know if it is just me. Ahora? I'm better. Okay. Eh Les decía que, que es una frase muy, muy realista porque hay muchas personas que tienen la capacidad de aprender. La habilidad se desarrolla y es muy fácil aprender para ello. Pero son las otras personas que tienen la voluntad de hacerlo. Entonces, con voluntad uno llega más lejos, a donde quiera. Aunque le cueste un poquito aprender, pero si tiene la voluntad, se esfuerza y, y tarde o temprano se va a the results. Of course. Of course. Yeah. You will see. You will see it. When we say that the capacity to learn is a gift, it is because um, learning anything a language or any any other um, activity, if you want to say it in that way, we say that that is a gift because you have the capacity. But if we go a little bit farther, then we say that we develop the ability. And if you develop the ability, so it is called a skill. 
but you can have the ability and also you can have the capacity to learn as Elsie was saying. But, but being here in class, it is a choice. Even though maybe your ability, it is not at 100%. But the willingness for you to learn, it is huge. And you have been here doing the whole classes. You have been attending, you have been participating, you have been here. That is a willingness, right? And maybe all of you have had the same opportunities, but some of you have gotten more choices. The choice to participate, the choice to make mistakes. But believe it or not, when you make mistakes, something happens because you are like correcting certain ideas that you have in your mind. But if you made a decision, of not to participate, you are the one that is losing the opportunity to grow a little bit with the language. And I don't think that uh, the thought um, that, that you have had the thought of, I know enough English and that's why I don't want to continue learning. No, I don't think that. I'm sure that it had happened because uh, you have gotten different activities that interrupted uh, your uh, participation. But it doesn't matter if you have participated or not. In the end, the results about the way that you are speaking, uh, reading, writing, will have uh, the award it is going to be for yourself. At the moment that you consider that you understand a little bit more, or if you can use more grammar structures, I think that the winner is you, you and only you, right? So, if you continue uh, learning English, maybe in any other, um, how can I say it, in, in any other way, because this is, these are going to be like imposed, but if you decide continuing with any other choice about the, the language, it is going to be good for you. Right? Keep practicing, keep working hard. This is not something very easy. Berta says, maybe, uh, Berta has said, uh, I, I don't remember when she said that. It was last week that she was trying to uh, complete some exercises and she was trying and she did it once, she did it twice, she did it three times and she said, but I cannot get it. That exercise was uh, uh, difficult for her, but she didn't stop trying till she did it. I think. <laughs> yeah, but that is one of the most important things during these processes, because when you continue trying, trying and trying, because you want to learn a little bit, and that is the most important thing because it is easier for her, I think. It was it could be easier for her just being quiet and do not participate. But she wanted, even though she was making mistakes. It is hard. But I can see that in this way she has the willingness to to learn. And that has been her choice. When I have seen some of you, for example, 
a Elsie falling asleep here. And then she said, okay, I am so sorry. I want to continue. And she continued participating. And not only Elsie, right? There are some others that I have seen you are doing because we are we are tired at this time. Remberto no. sick. Remberto, yeah, he was sick. Yes, he, he was there. He was there listening <laughs> and participating, right? With his classmates. So it's been not easy, right? It's been hard. But really hard. Yeah, at this time it is hard. But at any at any course that you can achieve, it means maybe it is not that you are going to speak more fluently, but maybe you have gotten more vocabulary, you understand better, you can write like 10. Remember the structure. Yeah, 20, 25 new words. Because if you finish, we finish this course, this level, your knowledge, it is not the same. You have gotten more vocabulary, right? You have gotten more vocabulary with the exercises. But, but you need to continue practicing, right? Okay, don't stop too much time. Continue practicing and you will see the results. The results, it is not just in one month, in two months, three months, no. You can start like uh, getting more fluency when you have around six months, five, uh, seven months, nine months, you can see the difference. But do not stop, don't stop, go ahead. Your willingness is going to give you um, a prize, the award at the end of these courses, right? Okay. A sacrifice. Yes, this is a sacrifice, I know. I know it's been a sacrifice. <laughs> when Berta says, ah, can we leave now? <laughs> I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's been hard. <laughs> but we're about, we're about. <laughs> We have just I tried. Class. <laughs> you have tried and I really appreciate that you have tried okay guys now let's see um very early you have been uh like getting information about this right uh about the inquest you have gotten the information in whatsapp right and even, I think Osvaldo did it, right? <laughs> you have already done it, Osvaldo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. But uh, we're going to do this together. I don't know if you have seen the the video. Did you have the opportunity to see the video? Like the steps that you have to follow in order to check this? No? Okay. No. We're, I am going to, um, I'm showing you this. I am going to um, paste. I'm going to stop here because I need to separate the screen. Let me see. This is going to be like this. Nos tenemos que salir de la clase para hacer la encuesta. No, no se me sale para ningún momento. Yo les voy a ir mandando un link y siempre tienen que ver aquí en la pantalla el proceso para la información que van a ir llenando. Y yo voy a procurar irles pegando en, en el chat la información que ustedes necesitan ir poniendo en algunas respuestas. ¿Ok? A ver si no se me traba mi teléfono. Ok, es, ok, ok. <risa> Esperemos que no hagamos lo despacio porque se puede hacer una sola vez. Ok. Ok, así que vamos así despacio. Primero les voy a... Déjenme... Sure. Ahí en el... Sí, dígame, Elsie. Sí. 
Right now, we are going to do. In this moment, we're going to do it. You're not ready. Aren't you ready? In a moment. I cannot listen to you, lady. Can you listen? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes Ok, guys. Aunque eh, no lo, si alguien de alguno, de alguno de ustedes tiene problemas, lo puede hacer después, pero hay que procurar hacerlo eh, eh, no más termine la clase. Lo ideal es que lo hagamos en este momento. Ya les voy a dar la dirección. Eh, aunque está en el WhatsApp, yo se los voy a pegar aquí en el chat para que vayamos ingresando a la encuesta y ustedes puedan tener acceso a ella. Cuando ya la tengan lista, me avisan y vaya, vamos a ir. Eh, yo voy a ir compartiendo lo que hay que ir llenando. ¿okay? Vamos a ver. Ok. ¿Logran ver la encuesta? ¿Ya lograron ingresar? Yes, teacher. Ok. Entonces, um, lo primero que nos pide ahí la encuesta, pues dice, ingrese el número completo de la orden. Eh, y es un, son unos números que yo les voy a pegar en este momento en el chat. Ustedes ya tienen esa información también, pero vamos a ir en orden. En el chat acabo de pegar ese número de la orden de inicio. Todo eso largo, largo, largo. Todo eso, por eso sería, si lo pueden solo copiar y pegar, that's ok. Ese es el número completo de la orden de inicios. Noventa y siete cincuenta cero cero veinticinco. Incluyendo la, los guiones. Uh -huh. Ay, ¿cuándo está aquí? Sin las primeras letras. Todo, todo. IC veintinueve siete cincuenta. IC en mayúscula. Uh -huh. Y C veintinueve setenta y cinco cero cero veintitrés veinte veintitrés veinte veintitrés sí vaya luego en el número 2, pues ahí van a escribir su nombre completo. En el número 3, su correo electrónico. Con el que nos registraron en el curso. Exactamente. Número cuatro, su número de celular. Número cinco, el sexo. 
la número 6 ya le da una pleca, un, una, una opción para que usted pueda decidir de qué departamento es. El número 7, el municipio, ¿verdad? Ya algo más específico. El número 8, la empresa donde usted trabaja. En el número 9 les pregunta nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. A esa. Tengo una consulta, perdón. El número de teléfono es un yo. El número, ¿cuál? El teléfono. Con guiones, ¿sí? Ok. Ok, gracias. ¿Y el proveedor, teacher? El proveedor, que es la número 9, ya se los acabo de pegar aquí en el chat. ¿Ok? Ahí tienen la opción. Yo solamente les, les he puesto cuál tienen que buscar. Porque ahí se los va a desglosar. Es inglés corporativo, regal internacional, SADCB. Ok, ya. Yeah. ¿Ya lo encontró? Ahí le dan yeah. clic a ese, ok. Luego, en el nombre del curso, se los voy a copiar y pegar también. Tal cual. Es inglés principiante, módulo 4. Inglés principiante, módulo 4. Ok, ya. Yeah. El 11 ya serían valores individuales que ustedes tienen que elegir. Listo. Ok, ahora la 13, la 12, ¿cuándo comenzamos este curso? El 13 de noviembre. Y la finalización. Hoy, día de 11 de diciembre. Exactamente. Ahí se los estoy pegando. Luego tiene la 14, donde ya son eh, igual que las anteriores, eh, respuestas individuales. También la 15, mencione que otros cursos son de su interés y comentarios. Tiene que darle enviar y este, eh, tomar una foto. Ya empezaron a mandarlas, ¿verdad? Aquí al WhatsApp de que ustedes han terminado la encuesta, ¿verdad? Ok. Aquí están llegando todos ya. Ok. La captura de que ya la hicimos al WhatsApp. Sí, porque ahí al final le da un chequecito. Cuando usted le va a dar enviar, le dice la respuesta se ha registrado correctamente. A eso usted le toma una captura y lo pega en el WhatsApp. Ok, listo. Thank you. You're welcome.
Tengo uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, catorce. Tengo catorce de veintidós. ¿Y la de Osvaldo? Dieciséis serían con la de él. Sí, gracias. Dieciséis. Okay. Ya poco a poco estamos completando, dicho. Sí, sí, 17, 18. ¿Y cuántos faltan éramos cuatro. al final? Me faltan cuatro. De los que estamos presentes, somos 22. Así que me falta, quiero ver, me faltan cuatro. Wilfredo. de Wilmer, 19. Faltan tres. Hay un número que no lo logro identificar. El 7211, que tiene dos corazones, no sé de quién es. Porque no tiene nombre. No es de Rose. No, Rose. Dice 72, pero dice Rose at the beginning. Pero ese no, no, ya lo envió. Ya lo envió, sí. De hecho, fue la primera. con mi nombre. Uh -huh. La única deducción que tenemos es que es de niña, porque lleva dos corazones. <risa> ah, ah, es un hombre que enamorado. Que un hombre no lo puede hacer. Exactamente. Es decir, él no lo haría. Románticos raros, pero hay. No es cierto, yo me enamoré cuando jugué fútbol. Totalmente. Vaya, a Wilfredo creo que no lo veo. Wilmer. Kenia, uh -huh. Max, Valerie, vamos a ver, Bueno, si sí, no, no logro el de identificar. Adilson. Adilson es el de los corazones. Sí, acabo de poner. Ah, ok. Sí, era un hombre. Vaya, vaya, vaya. <risa> too bad, it's too bad. Le, le quitó, le, no, no. Le derrumbó. <risa> Vamos a hablar seriamente con Adilson. <risa> a ver, me gusta mucho, me gusta mucho eso. Le derrumbe. Tipos. Sí, sí. <risa> Qué bien. No sé si hace falta. Como el de las chicas que tenemos el mismo nombre, Kenia. Tengo a Kenia Lisset. Ah, las dos Kenia. Ajá, Kenia Lisset. Kenia, Gabriela. Me falta Wilfredo Renderos y me falta Patricia Alvarado. Matthew, Verónica, Remberto. ¿Y, ¿Y Elsa? Elsa ya lo mandó. Ah. 
Elsa, sí. Aquí está, no, pero Wilmer, y aquí es Wilfredo. Wilfredo Rendero, ¿está presente acá? Wilfredo. Patricia Alvarado. Bueno, ok. Para los que están presentes, entonces ya entregaron. Creo que solamente, solo me quedo con la duda con la otra niña Kenia. Quiero ver si está aquí. Si está conectada. Richard, yo ya lo mandé. Kenia Lisset, pero la otra chica, yo creo que ni se ha conectado, ¿verdad? No, no, no está conectada. Niña, no, no está conectada la otra niña, Kenia. Ni Kenia ni Wilfredo. Yo sí estoy no, conectada, Wilfredo. buenas noches. ¿Está conectada quién? Kenia Reyes, aquí estoy. Dígale, sí, dígale, estoy compañera, trabajando. dígales. Ajá. <risa> pero ya Escribo me mandé. derecho. <risa> pero. Eh, después de Rose le envié. Ah, ahí es compañera, dígale. Ya la encontré. Ajá. Ya la encontré. Sigo trabajando, buenas noches. No, después de Carlina está. Ah, pero fui la cuarta. Sí, después de Carlina. Sí, soy Kenny Stephanie. Sí, sí. Ya la dígale, encontré. compañera, dígale. Aquí la estoy es buscando a todos. Aquí es la estamos sí, son buscando a todos. Sí, cuando estoy enfermo. No tengo audio. Ah, ok. Ahí está. Ahí está presente. Ok, Wilfredo, pero debe mandarlo. Porque de los que están conectados, solamente usted y Patricia hacen falta. Ok. Ok, guys. Bueno. So, we need to move on. Vamos a ver. We are going to stop sharing. Thank you very much for sending. Let's see. Okay, we're going to continue so with this. So now that we have already done it. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to talk about time close. What is a time close? Remember the last class that we were working with the conditional sentence? Did you remember the conditional sentences? Yes. 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 Okay, you remember that we had uh, an independent clause and also a dependent clause, right? Right. Yes, sir. Okay. That is going to be like the base for us to continue with time close. The time close, it says that it is a dependent close that begins with the time word. Inmediatamente me dice, it is a dependent clause. Dependent. So, if it is dependent, it means that it doesn't have a complete message by itself. It doesn't. Why? Because in the structure that uh, it has, um, we can understand that something is missing. Something is missing in there because it doesn't have the complete sense. And that is why it is the dependent clause. Do you remember the word 
that was at the beginning of the dependent clause with the conditional sentences? If, or when, or when. Okay, it was if or when. Now, with this one, it is going to be something similar. But the dependent clause, it is going to start with time word, time word, such as we have when, after, as soon as, and etc. because we have more. We have more time words that we are going to use in the time clause. These time clauses are going to follow different rules as the dependent clause, if we move them to the second place, we need to use comma. It is going to be exactly as we studied with the conditional sentences. Now that we have identified that we are going to have again dependent and independent clauses, but with certain words that are going to give us the clue about time. Here I have some examples of those time clauses. And in here we can see like the two ideas, the attendance, but I'm going to finish the idea here. I have time clauses in which I am going to use certain conjunctions. Conjunctions, part of the speech, remember, right? So, Conjunctions, when, while, as soon as, after, for, until. And we have more, we have more, not only these ones. And also, I have here examples, just to see the way that we need to structure the sentences using conjunctions for time clauses. And the first sentence of the, when we use when it is, let's cross the bridge when we come to it. While we'll keep on driving while there's still daylight. As soon as the baby can cry as soon as he's born. After, after I had finished my work, my homework, I went to bed. Before, don't cut your chickens. Oops, I cross it out. Before, they are hatch until we played cards to kill time until the bus came. I know that we, when we read the sentences, we understand them. The problem is when we want to write down our own sentences. Till that moment, we think, mm, what is the idea that I want to, to uh, express? And that is like the difficult part, but we are going to do it just following examples. Let's see, let us take an example. The first one that says, let's, let's cross the bridge when come to it, bless you. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Let's cross the bridge when we come to it. 
Maybe we don't understand every single word. Maybe we have just the idea about the content. And it depends on the context, of course. But we're going to try. And we are going to follow the examples of these uh, seven conjunctions, time classes. And we are going to understand, trying to understand, and we are going to write down an example similar to the one that you have there. Similar, not exact from what you have, but very similar. Yes, for you to have a better understanding about it. Do you understand that? Don't fall asleep yet. Yes, oh, teacher. Yeah. Okay, but don't fall asleep. Later, later you can fall asleep, okay? But not in this moment. Now let's see, I'm going to... Today I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not asleep, I am working <laughs> hard. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's see, I'm going to a split for you to work with the different exercises. Let's see. Okay. Um Okay, let us work and please try to write down your examples to these ones. Okay? ¿Cuántos? Only one per each of them. Only one example. Entonces, si hay will, podemos usar cualquier tiempo. Teacher. I sleep. Yes. You I can. sleep a little. 
I sleep a little while the sun rises. Example. <laughs> no sé si está bien escrito. A ver. Pero como está en futuro. Ah, oh, bueno, no. I sleep. Sleep. Ok. Ay, no. Ahí está, ok. Hello. Hi, hi teacher. Um, I don't know who, who this homework or the exercise is in couples, but just arose with me. But uh, I need a favor. Uh, you please uh, pitch or copy this photo, this exercise in, this, in this chat. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. Para poder pasarlo. Ahí está. Correcto. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, anytime. Thank you. Okay. Y si solo dos son, I am so sorry because I have no more <laughs> participants. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. It's, it's much better. Just see. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, solo una vamos a hacer. O una de cada uno. Una de cada uno. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Por eso solo una. Solo una ah. de cada uno. <laughs> ah, ok. <laughs> Pero es que no pudimos tomar la captura de la pantalla, teacher. Yo las anoté. Teníamos when, while, as, as soon as, after, before y until. Ok. ¿Cómo? Ups, while. Ups, ups. Pero yo las puse ahí en el chat. No, ahorita las reviso. Ok. Según yo, ya les estaba hablando y tenía el micrófono apagado. I'm so sorry. Uh, ok. Vamos a ver en el chat. No puedo verlo como estamos en los grupos pequeños. No le sale ahí en el chat, entonces. No. Es que estamos dentro del grupo chiquito. Va, déjenme ver. Vamos a ver si sale aquí. ¿Hoy sí? 
está cargando. Sí. sí. Ya, yeah. ok, ok. Ok, gracias. Ahí está. No de 30 dólares. Uh -huh. me quiero mover, por eso estoy aprendiendo. <risa> Exacto, pues estamos practicando. ¿Cómo Muy es? Let's, uh -huh. let's practice English until qué? Until improvise. we improve it. We improve it. Improve it. Ajá. Ah, pero no sabía que también estaba ahí. <risa> sí. Todo de la misma empresa, Ticho. <risa> y no sabía. No sé si yo me había fijado, pero no te... De verdad. Como nunca habíamos tocado juntos, sí. So, where do you work? Sí, sabía que había otro que estaba aparte de mí, de Conecta, pero no sabía que era vos. De... Sí. <risa> es que Conecta. es algo grande la empresa. Ajá, Conecta. Bueno, no, ustedes lo tienen como Digitex Teacher. Todavía. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Ya cambió de nombre. Ya cambiaron. And what, is that, and what is that about? The company what do you uh, do call center ah it is a call center ah okay yes. okay so it means that um the more you learn about english better opportunities you have for payment mainly yes uh ahorita bueno no sé cómo es el inglés pero ahorita nowadays or now yes. uh -huh. oh, aquí <laughs> Ajá, aquí crecimos. Hay, uh -huh. hay, ¿Cómo se dice? Aquí hay cuentas de inglés. Sí, está eh, Indicator. There are. So the stream. There are many accounts. English accounts. English And they, accounts. Pay, they, pay, they pay better. 
Yes. Uh -huh. Sí, yo que bien tranquilo, trabajan allá en el, en el insigne, con la gran Mira. vista ahí. Y ah. ahora entró, y ya entró sí. Lictec también. Ajá, es como que les están dando más prioridad a esas. Sí. Uh -huh. Fíjate que cuando yo estaba en la campaña de renovaciones, cuando se fue, porque la quitaron, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese chero se salvó, como me prendió inglés, de eso los, los jalaron en una inglés. Bien chivo. De veras. Sí. Yo estoy aprendiendo porque a veces me meten en reuniones. Sí les entiendo, pero yo para expresarme... Ajá, es que esto no es mucho lo que más <ríe> Ajá. Sí, es cierto que funciona frente al espejo, hablar solo. Eh, a Better, yo le siento mejor que le funciona grabarse. Ah, grabarse. Sí. Porque... ¿Qué grabarse por unos minutos, dos minutos, a ver si soy capaz o algo así o cómo. Mire, eh, grabarse primero con, con un speech libre y grabarse para revisar pronunciación también. Porque para grabarse también puede ser lecturas, una simple lectura. Y luego mm. usted se va a escuchar. Va a ver qué es lo que, cómo se, cómo, cómo, cómo está pronunciando. Si está leyendo las, let, las palabras completas. Si está dando los endings eh, correctos con el, de, si pronuncia los plurales. Okay. Eso es lo que va a verificar if you read. Y el free speech es agarre cualquier tema y empiece a hablar por dos minutos. Y vea qué, qué tanto le fluyen las ideas. Uh -huh. yeah, yo hago bueno. algo similar pero lo traduzco después o sea, mm. lo traduzco en mi cabeza y después lo pongo en el traductor para ver si, si lo escribí bien a ah, también Ajá. sirve también, sirve también yo pensé de que lo ponía en español y para que se lo hiciera el, el, el Google pero no, no. Pues si usted lo piensa el, el traductor no traduce bien, bien. Ajá, Ajá. Pero, pero si lo hace como the other way around que usted describe cómo se diría en inglés y el traductor se lo lee bien, bueno, ahí sí vamos por un buen camino. Algo así. Igual, la, las pronunciaciones del traductor sí son algo correcto. Sí, el Google sí, sí. tiene eso y ha mejorado muchísimo. Tiene, sí. tiene, tiene buena pronunciación. Igual hay una aplicación que se llama Elsa Speak. Es eh, buena. El, Elsa. Elsa Speak porque hay unos ejercicios de pronunciación y si uno no lo hace bien, no, no le da paso. Ah, y okay. le da un porcentaje de pronunciación. Por ejemplo, ya si la, ya uno aprueba el 90%, por ejemplo, pronunció un 90% bien, le dice que suena como un nativo. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, no, si es que la idea es rebuscarse con diferentes herramientas. Sí. Ok. Yes. Así que podemos practicar algún tema, teacher, porque vamos a estar 20 días o más. No es <risa> Mm, sí, pueden escribir como, como se me ocurre, música. ¿Qué puede hablar de la música? Ponga películas, um, temas de cultura general que, o turismo. ¿Qué tanto sabe usted o qué, qué vocabulario quiere, quiere, quiere utilizar? Uh -huh. Entonces, así, igual como más libre una entrevista verdad practicar eso me han, me han dicho amigos que trabajan en Colbre que mencionar las las debilidades y las áreas de mejora no sé cómo en YouTube en YouTube pueden encontrar uh -huh. entrevistas de trabajo ahí cuáles son las uh -huh. posibles eh, preguntas y luego usted uh -huh. la replica como que si a usted se las están preguntando cuáles serían su respuesta Sí, porque dice que tengo amigos, ¿verdad? Que a media vez pasaron eso. O sea, ya adentro los terminan de pulir. Yes. Con tal de pasar eso. Es que, ya. que los call centers tienen sus propias academias. Uh -huh. La mayoría. Sí. Entonces ahí van absorbiendo a los chicos y también los van capacitando. Así que a meterle estos, este tiempo. Y es y usted no sí. sabe más o menos cuándo, si se va a continuar el próximo año o algo. Es oficialmente, oficialmente hasta este mes. Se llega uh -huh. de manera general. Uh -huh. Y el de otro año cuando, es un... cuando se retoma, no hay día. Uh -huh. Sí, no sí, he escuchado día. yo también. Sí. Pero sí vamos a tomar ahí el consejo, creo que, videos en YouTube, porque... 
vamos a pasar Sí, un ratito sin, sí, sí, <ríe> por eso sin no practicar. se vayan a quedar así como, Sí, ay, pero vamos a esperar, qué galán, que, se que olvida no tenemos todo. clase. Yes, yes, so you have to practice. Yes. Yeah, ok, guys. Yo voy a ir a ver a los otros chicos, a ver qué tal. Okay. Ok, okay. <ríe> ok. Okay, guys, now that you have been working with your classmates, I think that you have had like a better idea about the meaning and the usage about the time clauses, how to identify them, right? And also, I know that you have been looking for the meaning of them. And it is good if you have uh, gotten the general view of them, right? when we use after, when we use before, when we use when or while. And also, as you can see in the examples that we have here, the examples have been uh, written using different tenses. For example, this one, the first one, it says, let's cross the bridge when come to it. This is simple present. simple present then we have we'll keep on driving while there's still daylight this is yes. future 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 because it says we'll keep on driving right so it keeps you in the future tense then the baby can cry as soon as he he is born Past. Simple present because he says, as soon as he is born, it okay. is simple present. Then after I had finished my homework, I went to bed. Past. This is past. And it is a combination of past perfect and simple past. After I had finished, mm. this is this is past uh, perfect, and then we have a simple past. I went to bed. This is a combination of two different tenses. Then, then count your chickens before they hatch. Was possible. 
past participle. Why do you think it is past participle? For the verb. What is the verb? Hatch. 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 Okay. This is not the verb. This is the verb. The verb. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is the verb. And check. This auxiliary is for? Present. For present. Okay. And the last one. Excuse me that I'm going to discuss. Captions hide. Okay, the last one. It is past. It says we played cards to keep time until the past came. Okay. Now I would like to read yours. For example, for number one, when you see the conjunction when, can you type the first example there in the chat box, please? Let's see. I met my aunt when she came to the country. We go to bed when the class finish. Yeah, both are okay. One is in simple present and the other one is in past simple. Okay, now for the second one, uh, using wild. <laughs> when using wild, we need to understand that both situations are happening at the same time. When we're using wild, both situations are happening in the right moment. When it says, we'll keep it on driving, wild, there's still daylight. Okay? No es uh, como otros ejemplos que after one action, sigue la otra. In this, in this case, with wild, no es así, sino que van simultaneous, both activities at the same time. Because the example says, we will keep on driving wild. There's still deadline. ¿Qué significa? Que mientras que haya daylight, you will be driving. So, se llega la noche, you're not going to drive. Yes? Let's see, let's see the examples that you have written. I don't eat wild. I am sta or wild. I study. You can say it that in that way, but I don't eat why I study. Or wild. You can say wild, I am studying too. Okay? Wild I am studying. Significa que se aguanta el hambre, ¿verdad? <laughs> Como temprano para no estar comiendo. Okay, good. Then process. We cross the border when it was 12 o'clock. Okay, you got, you are with the first example, but that is okay, Rose. I was happy while enjoying my vacation. I I was happy while enjoying. Yes, yes. 
Yes, because it means that you were doing both things at the same time. Si está de vacaciones and you were enjoying them. Okay, good. Uh, I listen to music while, while writing a report. You can say it also. While, while, while I am writing a report. Okay, While teacher. I am writing a report, okay, Jennifer. My mother has dinners. Okay, Rosie se movió a la tercera, okay, with as soon as. My mother has dinner as soon as, as soon as can always. Ahí sí hay que trabajar un poquito, Rose. Vamos a, a ver el, el, cómo, cómo vamos a trabajar con as soon as. As soon as is a expression, it is a time close that we have to understand that immediately when one action happens, the other one goes as a second, right? Okay. And then, so for example, with the examples that we have, it says the baby can cry as soon as he is born. The first action is he is born. And after he is born, immediately what happens? He cries. The baby is crying. Okay, so one action and immediately the other one. Okay. And then that's why we, we are using as soon as. What is the meaning for as soon as? Tan pronto como. That's it. Tan pronto como, right? So one and immediately the other one. Okay, let's see the other examples. Um, as soon as the child can shout, no, the child can shout as soon as they are stay in the stadium. As soon as they are. As yes. soon as they are in the stadium, no? As soon as they they are stay. Okay. As soon as they stay or as soon as they are in the stadium. Okay, the first um this topic is uh, only identify the the sentence, but the the sentence is um the child. The subject. The subject uh, is, yes. is a child here. Yes. The child can shout as soon as, ah, but also in the second sentence, the child can shout as soon as he is in the stadium because in the first one you say the child, singular. Okay, the yes. Children, right? yes, yes. The children it, can shout yes. as soon as they, are in the stadium, then yes, it is they. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Then Osvaldo, you come to my house as soon as you can. Okay. Yes, that is okay. And then we have after. I think that after and before are a little bit easier than the first, than the previous one after and before. One for one. Yeah, first after and then before. Okay. And see, you can... I take a nap. I take a nap after I eat my lunch. Oh, what a delicious. <laughs> it also happens. It also happens. For me, the most difficult part of the day is the afternoon, after lunch. That is the most difficult. The morning, 
passes really fast, but the afternoon after lunch, it's hard. For me too. <laughs> yes. Don't forget to turn off the lights before you go outside of this place. Don't forget to turn off the lights before you go outside of this place. Okay, Jennifer? Berta, I relax after I go to camp, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, good. Solo hagamos estas dos y no he pasado la lista, chicos. I told you, ya la voy a pasar and I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, can you help me before you go you go to work? Okay. After my work, I like to rest at home. Oh, sí, sure. delicious. Yes, Berta. Cuando es job y cuando es work? Confundo, ¿no? It is because one, it is solamente como el noun y el otro eh, va más dirigido a la acción, el work. Okay. Acá. Okay. Um, let me see, Rose. Rose, after my work, I like to rest at I I like to rest at home. Before going to sleep, I always have English class. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. After learning English, I will learn French. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Um, so can you, can you, can you speak French? You're going to say in the next class, you're going to say. Osvaldo. How are you going yes. to say? We. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> Only one word, but at least. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, good. And uh, the last one, until, okay, until. Until it's... There are two similars. <clears throat> that we have we have until and the next in the next slide i have like the other word that it is once they seem to be very alike but they have uh, differences okay let us uh, write down the until and then we are going to work with the attendance Okay, empezaron a llegar rápido. I'll wait for you until 10 p.m. Okay, no more than that. I ran as fast as I could until I reached the finish line. Okay, you have used both. I ran as fast as I could until I reached the finish line. You use both. I exercise from 6.30 in the morning until 8.15 or so. Good. Okay. 
So, ¿cómo se llaman esas, esas palabras? Esa... Primero, las palabras when, while, soon as, after, before, and until, ¿qué son? Conjunctions. 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 ¿Cómo se le llama entonces a la oración donde ellos comienzan a ser parte de esa oración? Time clauses. Time clauses. Es una clause, pero como comienza con una conjunction de time, entonces le vamos a llamar time clauses. Good. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to... Teacher. Yes. Check the assistance. Yeah, in this moment, in this right moment, I'm doing it because I just forgot it. No. <laughs> because okay. tomorrow. Uh, no, la gañan. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have it here, okay? Okay, Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present, teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Saldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Vuelvo a decir. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Elisette Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present, chair. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Um, Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer, ok, Wilmer Alexander Mendoza. Present. And Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Present. Ok. Well, the first time and then we come back. Okay, guys, now that you have worked with the first part of these exercises, I'm going to show you just the second part of it and I'm going to explain some of them. I was telling you that you have worked with this. But if you look for more information, we have more. And I wanted you to, to make the difference between until and once. They are very alike. And maybe sometimes we think that it is the same thing, but it is not. Right? It is not. And uh, even though we have here the examples, I'm going to show you. the differences that they have. They are uh, very similar, but when you see the, I cannot move. Okay. 
here we have how to use once in a sentence. For example, if you say, once I finish my work, I will go for a walk. The meaning of this sentence goes, and emphasizing that, which is the condition that you have to have in order to accomplish something. In this case, it is this. Once, it is a conjunction that is used to indicate that something will happen after a certain condition is met. The idea of one time occurrence or event. Once I finish my work, what will happen? I will go for a walk. You have the first idea that it says, once I finish my work, that is what has to happen first. And when it happens, and then you can go for a walk. That is the second idea. Something has to happen first, which is one. It depends of the way that you have expressed with the sentence. Then we have the second one. In the second one, I have, once you understand the concept, it will be easy to apply. Once you understand English, it will be easy to understand the movies. The music but, too. The music. But, para que usted pueda entenderlo, something has to happen first. What? You need to understand English. If you don't understand, it means that it is not going to be easy. One activity first, and then comes the second one, the effect. Yeah, he but wants... it's, con it's continued, yeah? Yeah, after one comes the after other After one, one. Oh, yes, it's continued, okay. Yes. He was happy once he receives the news. Which was first? Which, which one was first? He received the news or he was happy? He was happy. No. Received the news. He received the news. That was the first one. He received the news and then he was happy. Yeah. Because it says he was happy once he received the news. Okay. As you can see, once is used to indicate that something will happen of a certain condition is met. What we, what we are doing in this moment, we have the two. But it happens that once is very similar to until, until and once. What is the meaning for, for once? What is the meaning? Una vez. Okay. Una vez, pero no significa de it happened okay. one time. Una vez, it is uh, what it means that something will happen. Media vez tenga algo. Yes. Okay. Si se logra algo, pues entonces vamos a hacer lo otro. Right? Vamos a ver. Y entonces, si cuando uso until, what does it mean? 
I will not leave until the storm passed. He waited until the last minute to submit his application. The store is open until 9 p.m. As you can see, until is used to indicate a very specific point in time or event that must occur before something else can happen. So we have two, until and once. What about if I say? You, you will get it until you pay for it. You will get it once you pay for it. What might be the difference? What can be the difference if I say that? If I say once or if I say until, what might be the difference? Or do you think it is the same? Uh, uh. Otra. Uh, digamos que anti es que va a pasar algo hasta que pase. Ya me chule. <risa> es porque las dos son parecidas. Pero si yo le digo... Um, if we are talking about that you have to pay something, and then you say, until you pay, you can use it. It means that you have been paying, right? And hasta que logre el payment uh, que le corresponde, so you can use it. Pero el once es, it says, once you pay, you can use it. No le importa el periodo que usted ha estado pagando, solo le importa y le dice, once you pay, you can use it. Pero el until es como una condición. Usted sigue pagando, sigue pagando. Until you finish, you can use them. Right? So, until it is like more very specific because you have been paying something. And this is what you have in the book. Before you start writing the purchase order, you have to check everybody product. Everybody, every product. I am reading more. After they pay, they can start placing the packages on the truck. This is something similar to what I was saying. After they pay, they can they can start placing the packages on the truck. We are authorized to change the item until the we check the purchase order. As soon as we register the order in our system, you can take it home. All of them have time clauses, before, after, as soon as, until. We have used this time expressions. Now we have these exercises in the book. In a general way, which ones do you think are the appropriate for these exercises? We have four exercises in which we need to decide which is the correct, before or as soon as, once or until, after and before or until and before. Which is the correct? Let us do it with your teams. Berta ya no va a participar, okay? Uh, take into account that Elsie and Jennifer, because she has she has gotten migraine.
Okay, guys. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, ahí, ahí viene, teacher. Ya tenemos las otras tres, solo las dos, ¿no? Solo la dos, no. You Ay. pay for the material. Es, ambas aplican. Once and until... Eso es lo que les estaba explicando, es decir, parecieran ser muy, muy parecidas, pero en significado hay una, hay una diferencia. Right? For example, when we say, um, let me see, where is it? When you say, um, once you pay for the material, you can start using it. We can understand when you say once you pay for the material es que usted está en el almacén, va a la caja y ya le van a dar o puede utilizar lo, lo que acaba de comprar. Once. Once. But if you say until you pay for the material, you can start using it. That one pareciera que ha sido... Um, comprada como al contado, al crédito. Because you have been paying. Hasta que termine de pagar, you can use it. Mm. Yes. Okay. Entonces, ese until da la idea that you have, you have done that activity in not only one time, Sino que así como different, different times, something is happening, you are paying, you are paying. But with once, no, solamente le dice una vez o media mm -hmm. vez usted pague, no le está diciendo hasta que pague. Es como que hasta, sí que se le sacó a cuota, ¿verdad? Ajá, hasta que lo pague en total, lo va a pagar usted. That, that's it, until Ajá. you pay, and then you're going to sit. Se, se entiende que como que fuera lo mismo, but cuando vamos viendo esos pequeñitos detallitos, ¿ok? Is that we are okay. going to understand them better. ¿Ok? Yes. Good. Listo. Ok. Okay, guys, we have here the four exercises. And I know that, that the one that may be in which you have more difficulties is number one, right? Number one is number two. Because we can use both. We can say once or we can say until. But the meaning it is not the same. No. Yeah. The meaning it is not going to be the same if I decide 
using once or if I decide using until. Then let us see, what do you have for the answer for number one? Before. Before. Okay, before. before. There, I think that we have no troubles. What answer do you have for number two? Once. 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 What do you have for number three? After. 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 Okay. And what do you have for number four? Until. 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 Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes. This some me sacó cuál cuál les dijeron que eran las primeras dos. Before and Before, once. Uh -huh. Once. Okay. Okay. That is where we have, right? Those are the answers. I was telling uh, one of your to to one of the teams that, for example, they were asking about that we can use both answers in this one in number two. And indeed, yes, we can use both, but we cannot use them as synonym. We can use them. Trying to understand that there is a difference between bueno, among between them. Okay? So if I say, for example, eh, once you pay for the material, son, son varios factores. Eh, obviamente, mira, tampoco le vamos a echar toda la culpa a mi mamá, pues la empleada es despistada, es veces. Okay. The once <laughs> what I was saying. You pay for the material, you can start like using it. If we are thinking about a moment and then the, uh, the situation can happen right at the place where you are. Maybe you you need to pay something, you want to get something. So go and pay. Once you pay, I can give you this. But when you we use until, we understand that there is like a process or a activities for you that you have been paying and then it says until you pay the material you can start using it maybe you have paid one month two months three months well this is the last one until you pay you can use it it is mm -hmm. like a process that you have if you use until if you understand the context and then yes you can use once or you can use until any but you need to understand what the difference is. Yes. Okay, okay, guys. Y ahora viene el examen final. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Ah, pero te lo vamos a hacer aquí entre todos, okay? In the chat box. There are some topics that we have been using, but I, I want you to we are going to complete this. This is, um, for example, related to the gerund. Remember that topic for the gerund? A little bit. A little yes. bit, okay. Let's see here. It says, listen, do you like working in big groups? This is the gerund. But I just want you to answer. Yes or not. Pero me van a decir el por qué. Do you like working in big groups? Yes or not? Why yes? Why not? In the chat box. I've got the first one. Yes, because it is easier to solve anything. Yes, of course. <laughs> no, it is very difficult. <laughs> I think it is easier when you work with, with, ah, uh, well, it's in this case, it is big groups. Well, it depends. It has pros and cons. 
Yeah, but I learned from my colleagues. That is the good aspect, right? That is the good aspect. Okay. Now, are you eager to share? Are you eager about sharing your ideas? Are you eager about sharing your ideas? Yes or not? What is the meaning eager? Eager, what is the meaning of eager? The no, eager. Eager. Ansioso. In a good way, but in a good way, not in the okay. wrong way, okay? <laughs> yeah, because we can say that we are ansioso, but in the wrong way, right? In the negative aspect. But this is something positive. Yes, because I like to learn from others. Okay. Sometimes your classmates learn from you. When you are participating, when you are participating, when you are sharing your ideas, your classmates are giving vocabulary how to express themselves. Okay. Berta says, not because it is a young people area. Well, if you're talking about your job, yeah, sometimes maybe the vocabulary, even the vocabulary uh, doesn't match, right? Or the interests are different. So you don't know what to talk about. Yeah, sometimes it is difficult. Do you like working with multitasking people? What is multi multitasking? multitasking? Nowadays, it is very famous multitasking. For example, for example, you can accept it all. For example, some of you here are studying English, you are participating, but at the same time, le están contestando allá al jefe eh, que les está pidiendo un reporte, right? Entonces le dicen, okay, le contestan, meanwhile, you're working here, and then you are doing this. De repente, uh, se le olvidó que tenía que mandar un correo, no porque se lo pidieron, sino que it is something personal. So you're going to send it like two different or three different activities at the same time. That is multitasking. So do you like working with multitasking people? Como se escribe frustrante. <laughs> Frustrating. <laughs> Frustrating. It can be confusing, yes. Or maybe because sometimes they are not even paying attention, right, to what you are saying. Yes. First. That's what I think, Jennifer. I prefer doing one thing at a time. Pero nowadays, <laughs> yeah, nowadays, a las empresas les conviene uh, to work in this way, multitasking. Yes, I I think this this is impossible in the in the practice in my days it is impossible in the ones a, a, a homework <laughs> yes no it is it is kind of difficult yes but but anyways that the the in the places where you work when we work it is kind of difficult that they understand right ellos le dicen tiene que hacer esto 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 and you have to do it 
como dicen ahora, hay que ser integrales. <risa> It is convenient for the for the place where you work. That's that's the reason. <laughs> right? And then do you enjoy finishing work early? I of course, right? <laughs> Osvaldo, he he likes to work with multitasking people, right? You see? Okay, Berta says that she is a multitasking person. Okay, good. <laughs> but why were you going to have more time? I know, but you are answering now, enjoying fishing work on early, right? Yes. Yes. Se siente bien relaxed also when you finish earlier your, your, your activities. Okay, and finally, the last one. Do you dislike hanging out with colleagues after work? Do you dislike hanging out with colleagues after work? I guess I meter that I don't do it often, okay? Okay, Kenya, but but the question is if you dislike it. Do you dislike it? Okay, yeah, you dislike it. <laughs> Berta says, yes, because I don't drink and I can't sleep later, okay? Uh, sometimes because I prefer, go, go, prefer to get home quickly. Yes, it happens. But it also depends from the colleagues that you have, right? Okay, guys. Okay, I like to enjoy it once. I once each time. Once, once each time. What do you mean, Rose? Eh, uh, poner... poner, me gusta disfrutar una vez cada cierto tiempo. Okay. Once. Let's see. But I think that once it is not the, the appropriate, porque once it is oh, okay. like media vez something or una vez. Por eso pensé que iba a decir like una vez al mes or something like that, because if it is una vez, podría ser once a month, once a week, once a year, una oh, okay. vez. A la semana, una vez al, al mes, una vez al año. So that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay, guys. The, ha the happiest moment has arrived. <laughs> ah, you see, now you're happy. <laughs> 
Yes, we did it. We did it. Yes. Okay, guys, now we are going to look for the attendance. And that is the last part of today's class. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thank you. Just let us wait for your name. And then it is over. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, yes. Carlina Loreni es... Present. Ah, Navarro Ruiz. Sorry, se me perdió. Kenny Alistair Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenny Estefany Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present, teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michel Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Present. Mendoza okay, García. And Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Present. Okay, guys. Present okay, okay, good, Amanda. Okay, guys. Solo me resta decirles entonces. Thank you very much for being here participating, for being really patient y haber llegado hasta acá. <laughs> right? Solo no olviden completar todas las actividades de la plataforma, ¿ok? Porque de ahí depende todo. ¿Ok? So, complete them, please, if you want you, to teacher. achieve this. Así que muchas okay. gracias Thank a todos. Así Thank que les puedo decir, I wish, I wish you. you a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I want to see you in the next okay. level. Okay. Let us see. Okay. What we have later. Okay, guys. It was a My pleasure teacher, being you. with you. It's a pleasure. Okay. God bless you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.